Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Rose and today I will be showing you how to remove the create a sim and camera UI to avoid having to crop it out of your screenshots. I will have everything needed linked below in the description box. This is only possible if you use reshade or G shade as it uses the shader technology to remove the UI. Gone are the days of spending too much time editing out the cast UI from your really great screenshots or the camera lines from your Sims selfies. You will be downloading two things today, assuming that you already have reshade or G shade installed. If you do not and you want to try it out, I will have both of those things linked as well in the description box. The first thing that you will be downloading will be the shader toggle preset. And then the second will be the shader toggle add on. There are two different files, so just make sure that you have them both, because if you don't have them both, this will not work. All right, so the link in my description box will take you to this page. This page is where you'll get everything you need to download unless you don't have reshade or g-shade. That's totally different. So you'll scroll down and obviously I'm not reading through all of this, but you definitely should just to get some more information and, and different things like that. But you scroll down right here is where you will download the preset file. It's just for the shader toggle file to be able to pull from so that they work together. This is basically what allows it to do what it's going to do. So you want to download that from Sims file share or Google Drive. Either one doesn't really matter, whichever you prefer. And then down here, the second step, they have a link to the add-on file. And so you'll go to this link. It will take you to this page. And now this is where you'll be careful because you don't want to download the wrong one. There's two different versions. There is the one that's called the 86101. And then there's just the V101. If you are on a 32-bit computer, you want the 86. If you're on a 64 bit, you want the 101, just the V101. So you'll click one of these, you'll download it. And then that should look like this. You should have that in your downloads folder. You have the shader toggle folder, which is this. And then you also have the actual preset. Now I have G shade, so it'll be a little bit different than if you have reshade. So what you want to do is you want to find wherever your reshade or G shade is. It's in your Sims 4 folder. So you'll get to the bin folder and that's where it is. So right here is like presets that you use and then there's a folders up here. So the add on file, like the actual add on file, this file in here, that file is what you will be putting in the add ons folder. So you'll open that up and you'll place it right in your folder like that. Now the preset, you just drop in the main folder. All right, so after loading up your game, you know, whatever your hotkey is to open up your reshade or G shade menu, you know, use that to pull up your, your menu. You have a little add-ons tab up at the top. You wanna click that and you wanna go to where it says shader toggle and you wanna make sure there is a check mark in that box next to it because that means it's turned on. If I uncheck this, it'll say will be disabled on next application restart. So if it is turned off, you need to check the box and then you need to restart your game. That way everything is going to be able to work like it's supposed to. I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to start a new game. So basically what you want to do is you want to make sure that's turned on and load into a new game. So it'll take you right to CAS. Just say no thanks to that. And when you load in, it's going to look completely normal. The cast UI is still there, but I'm going to take a screenshot. I'm just going to take a simple screenshot. Let me get a better sim first, though. I've got my sim. I'm going to make her pose real quick, and I'm going to take a screenshot. So let's do that one. I took my screenshot, and now let me pull it up for you. All right, so I pulled up my screenshot. As you can see, it is just like it would normally be. The UI is still there. Everything shows. So normally I would be taking this into Photoshop and I would be trying to spend, you know, several minutes, several valuable minutes <laughs> trying to edit out those little arrows and the UI and just trying to make it so I can use the screenshot for something. But now you don't have to. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the game and I'm going to remove the UI. And now look at that. Make her pose again. I'm going to take my screenshot. Okay. And then what I will do is I will pull up that image. And there it is. You see, no UI, but still a screenshot that's beautiful and ready to go. All I need to do is just crop it down on the sides a little bit. And I have my screenshot, guys. And look, the mirroring from my cast background is there. Everything. It's beautiful. And I don't have to do anything. 
I'm going to put the key combinations on the screen, but they should show you in your settings, like in your reshade or G shade settings. When you go to the add ons menu, it should tell you like the shortcut keys, just like it does for how you open up your thing or turn off your shader, things like that. So I will pop those on the screen for what you need to use in cast. There is one other cast toggle for infants to remove the infant pillow. So I'm going to make her an infant real fast. Okay, a little scary, but okay. So <laughs> if you have if you toggle this toggle, I'll put it on the screen like right here, then it removes the infant pillow. So if you're posing your infant in cast, you can remove all of the things and you can pose your infant and remove that pillow. It's just it's magical. I'm gonna make her back to her normal self because that infant's a little scary. <laughs> All right, guys, so if you've made it this far, this is probably one of the most talked about thing that I see about taking screenshots or selfies with your sim. So let me find a sim for my sim to meet. Hey, excuse me. Hi. Let's go. Let's go say hi. Let's go say hi. So this is one of the things that I see people talk about a lot because it is frustrating because when you use G shade, you want your screenshots to look like you have G shade, you know, and when you take a selfie in game, those photos go to your Sims 4 screenshots folder. When you use the UI to take the screenshot or take the, take the photo, it does not have your reshade or G shade on it. It just doesn't. So a lot of the time people will just take a screenshot of that menu where it's open and try to edit out the camera UI and it's very tedious and very frustrating and like I've never done it because I don't even have the time for that. So <laughs> basically what this does is it allows you to remove that camera UI when you say take a photo with, let me take a photo with him and I will show you exactly what I mean because it's a game changer. He's gonna, they're gonna pose up and it's gonna take you to this menu. Now normally people would literally take a screenshot with G shade. Let me pull it up for you. All right. So as you can see, the photo has the UI and everything's there. Now I'm going to show you the photo where the UI is not there. All right. Here is the photo with the UI removed. As you can see, it looks just like a normal picture, but they're still posing for their selfie. So essentially I just removed all of the UI. I will put the hotkeys on the screen. You can just remove them, take your screenshot, put it back, and finish out what you're doing. That's pretty much all I've got for you guys today. Let me know if you would like a tutorial on how to download and install Reshade in G-Shade. And again, I will have everything linked in the description box below for easy access to the downloads to make your life easier. And I guess with that, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.